This is the lobster sunomono with the coffee and beer double cream. This is the notebook that I used on the show. Since it was a team challenge, you're gonna have to ask Avishai for his components. I hope you guys bug him for it. But for my components, I'm gonna be going over coffee and beer double cream, vinaigrette, and lobster. The ingredients are cream, stout, coffee, and salt. We're gonna start reducing the cream. For this sauce, the key to it is reducing it low and slow. I like to reduce it down to 50%. The concept is pretty simple. You mix it as you reduce it down so the fat doesn't completely break apart. I like to think of it as savory ice cream. My favorite ice cream choice? Chocolate chip cookie dough. <laughs> Next, we're gonna work on the stout reduction. This is pretty straightforward and simple too. My recommendation is to use stout with higher sugar content. That way when it reduces down, it's gonna turn into this nice syrup. When I cooked this on the show, I cooked it at medium low for about an hour and a half. Same goes for the double cream. Compared to the double cream, you don't have to worry about it breaking, but you wanna make sure that sugar doesn't burn on the side. Once sugar burns on the side of a pot or pan that you're reducing sauces in, it's gonna affect the whole flavor, so I would just dump it and start over. As you can see, the sauce is nice and reduced down. Next step, coffee and salt. Let's grab our pot of double cream, add some of that stout reduction inside. For the finishing of the sauce, I added some instant coffee. Next up is gonna be how to make a knee-high vinegar, which is your soy vinaigrette. Rice vinegar, marin, buscucci soy sauce, and Pilsner beer. Base of this sauce is gonna be a 2-2-1 marin, buscucci soy sauce, and vinegar, which means two parts marin, two parts buscucci soy sauce, and one part vinegar. I personally make a big batch of this and always have it stored at my house. How to make it, put everything in a pot, bring it to a boil, add some bonito flakes to it. This method is called oigatsuo. This is one of my favorite techniques I learned in Japan. It picks up that umami and smokiness from the bonito flake. Some of my favorite dishes to use it on are miso soups and marinades. I let it sit, let that bonito flake sink in, and strain. All right, sauce and our vinegar is done. Final component of the dish, lobster time. Yakiyami. This is what I'm gonna use to cook it at home. This is by far one of my favorite tools to use. The bottom is a ceramic net. It helps disperse the heat consistently. At home, a lot of times I wanna grill something really quickly, but it's too much work to set the grill up, so this is perfect. If you wanted to get one from home, I added a link in my comments below. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the lobster, hit it on the heat real quick and get that extra char smell. My favorite way to cook lobster is have salted water at about two to three percent. Make sure your water is rapidly boiled. I'm gonna stir it in for a second, put a lid on, turn the heat off and let it sit for 10 minutes. I cook my lobster and shrimp like this. In my personal experience, when you cook it at boil or high heat, it ends up becoming really tough. That's why I like to cook it like this. It comes out consistent almost every single time. To stop the cooking, I'm gonna drop it in some ice water and let it sit. Once it's sat in ice water, cold in the center, we're gonna go ahead and peel the shell off. Dice it into little tiny pieces, and our lobster prep is done ready to get tossed in the vinaigrette we made earlier. We're gonna get our Pilsner ready, throw it in as is, toss it up with the lobster and the vinaigrette, let it sit for a few minutes. All our components are ready, we're gonna get into plating now. For our plating, we're gonna put the sauce on the bottom. I chose a gray bowl because all of our colors are monotone and I tend to like monotone plating. When it's done well, I think it looks extremely sexy. Right on top, we're gonna put that lobster that we tossed in our vinaigrette, top it off with some chives, add some crushed sesame on top, and that's how you make a lobster sunomo. Thanks for watching till the end. I'm gonna keep uploading new videos. I'd love it if you could subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys.